Welcome back, Pick'em. Week two. Rico? Tough week. How was Saturday night mass? Uh, I rolled all the way into Sunday. How many people did you block on Saturday when you uh, started the season with a 15 burger? Uh, it wasn't 15. About what? Units? 13, yeah. But, uh, 13. A handful. A handful of people got blocked. So what tough- went wrong? I thought the prep was good. It just, you know, in between the lines, they didn't do well. Hmm. No, a lot weren't even close. They were terrible. Like Army. Oof. Yeah, no. You can't cover four, uh, 22 if you only score 14. Yeah, that's I'm not true. a math guy. That, that you are a math help. guy. That didn't help. Uh, all right, so week two, you were terrible. We're back. Dave, where did you go, Dave? I wasn't good. I was great. I was great. Uh, I wasn't great actually betting, but my picks were great. I actually – so I was in Vegas, and I was doing a combo of real money – and as well as like online, eight and fourteen. I did bet all the games, uh, but the 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 miss of the ones I put cash on, uh, the ones I won. So I had a huge bet on Houston. I did have the money line. I had five grand on money line, and I had thirty grand on them with the spread. So that was a huge winner for me. And then I had Boise State and Boise State money line. So that masked a lot of the problems. Quick shout out to the game. I thought. I was going to win both and was really feeling good. It was UMass Rutgers. I did have the over there. Oh, man, the start of that game. Now, see, UMass I, was see, up. She, see, I knew I did better. Like, Marina made this. I don't see UMass over. I gave UMass over. 100%. Yeah, you did. So you it's did. just not. I don't know how she misses hit that. Hit in the first half. Go oh, ahead. no, it is on there. My bad. Oh, okay. um, yeah, hit in the first half. I think UMass it was 21-7. 21-7. To lose a 15-and-a-half point spread when you're up 21-7, that's tough to do. I, I think they were already not covering at a half time. Yeah. Yeah, like it was twenty-seven. It was that and they fast. gave up thirty or thirty-seven in a row. So, quick shout out to them. Obviously, my mortal lock. I mean, what are you going to do? My mortal lock. Although we give different, but my my best bet of the really on this card was BYU plus six and a half. I mean, that was a winner. Yeah, I said what would happen. Is that your that points game. bet mortal lock? No, you mean UMass plus. Six. You, yeah, BYU I mean, no, lost. You mean Northwestern six and a half. Northwestern. Northwestern. Yeah, 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 you were yeah. right. You, no, you know. I, 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 I said exactly what yeah, would happen. That, that game is still lost. Yeah, we bad. had that game pegged. I mean, even the under. Even the uh, punt from the 30. Yep, all of David it. David Shaw special. I won my mortal lock, Fresno State. Uh, did you win your mortal lock? No, I didn't. Who was your mortal? Well, you didn't win um, any bets, so. I went like two. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Fresno, good pick. What's I, that? I, Thanks. I, I bet come, on Fresno. Yeah. How, what is Fresno? What? The Valley, Cali, or back alley? Come what? come anywhere. Anytime, any, any place, anywhere. Pat Hill. Right. How many times do we have to do this? I thought it was the Valley, Cali, or back alley. Like, we'll play. No, That's good. That is, are you sure? That's not it. It's, it's not it. Any place. Any hole, anywhere, where do you want to put it? Right. Anywhere you Pat want Hill. it, that's the way you need it. That's Pat Hill. Well, that's a song. No, it's Fresno. No, what was that well, last? Well, you could have it your way, but we'll do it our way. <laughs> At Fresno. At Fresno. What trying to? What is it? Just tell us Fresnos. What's their motto? What are you doing? What's their <laughs> motto? Any any way? What's any he doing? Place, you any... knew he was gonna do. You know when he's doing his little shticks. You're doing song lyrics. He did a few too. You're, no, you're doing no, no. song we lyrics. Did, as did a the few Fres- Fresno. We what, don't know the Fresno yeah, motto. Yeah. Why do you do? What this? is the Fresno ruining, motto? You, so your joke as a picker, you go two and eight. You get your ass handed to you, and you come in with song lyrics. That'll be the mo- <laughs> we did them all last week, and now you're gonna play these silly I'm games. I'm trying to learn. I'll walk out. No, I don't want you to do that. They'll be, yeah, because right. you need Yo, the money. Gl- gorilla glue. <laughs> Honestly, yes, so do. so yeah. don't do these like cartoon gimmicks. All right. You got it. I'm Ooh. trying to learn the Fresno thing. That was all. I didn't know it. Dan didn't know it either. He said a couple of yeah, bad uh, You guys think you're like so fucking cute. <laughs> all right. Any. Anywhere up, you Rico. want it. Rico, that's I will, where we get it. Yeah. Any place, anywhere, anytime. Pat Hill. Pat Hill. I have a gift for Rico before we get started. I, what do you got? I don't like this show the way it's going i'm not gonna do these stupid rico gimmicks okay that's fair i that's the only one that i know that he has planned that's it that's the only one i know that he has planned lightens the mood it doesn't lighten the mood do i seem lightened no you're a busy guy yeah i am so i don't have time for like you being an asshole got it i have a gift for you rico i said i was gonna do it oh nice rico bosco fun fact about rico bosco he collects ticket stubs no, for I'm games he do doesn't it. even yeah. go to. <laughs> I can't have it. Well, you can. Do, I'm not. Okay, if I'm I have not, a good performance, like, I get it. I, how many just, ticket stubs do you have of games you have not attended? A ton. Why do you do that? I like, I'm, I, so I, for people who are obviously listening, I have 
a Minnesota Final Four ticket that Rico he texted. He's like, "Hey, could you could you save the the ticket stub?" And I sent him back a text there where I just ripped my real one in half. And I was like, "You're not getting my ticket stub." So I got you one. I forgot. I've been carrying my bag for about f- six months. Why do you do this? I want to put it on a bar top. I think that's cool. I have you. every Kentucky Derby ticket I've been to, and I have every Super Bowl ticket I've been to, and you're not getting them. But you haven't the been past, to though. these that's games. A, that's a tie-in. Yeah, just but you're, a cool, so you're going to have a countertop I have of a, a bunch of, of games where I it's like, the, I didn't go to that, I didn't go to no, that, I didn't I go to that. I saved a ton of stubs I went to, but to complete the whole yeah, bar. It's a bunch of games you didn't go to. Right, yeah. What a story. Of the time you didn't go to the final, it's more four. a visual. It's not really a story. It's Got more it. a visual. All right. Well, that's my gift to you. Dave is gonna embargo it until the end of the show. Okay. Which is fair. Uh, before we get to the the list of uh, five games that we're gonna go through before our picks, is the list back? No. What do you mean? It's week two. This. An in a uh, power five team against an inferior opponent right. coming off a loss. Yeah. You trust Florida State? Sure. If it's I'm the list. You Boise State money line. Right, I'm not taking Florida State. Did you take Florida State last week? No, he. I mean, oh wait, he. That uh, seems like a Rico. I said they had pick. a win. It wasn't on my card. But no, I no, said, no. You you picked. Them. I said they got a win. You picked yeah. them. I yes. picked Florida State. So the list is done. No, it's not done. I just don't like the spots this week. So give me who's on the list. Florida State. I, it was so. I didn't really even like it to look at it. Uh, Florida State. <laughs> yeah, like, that makes no sense. It hurts you, you to you, look at you, it. You didn't even look at it. How do you know you didn't like it? Then? No, you look at the spots and you're like, all oh, right, you like I don't like it. Whatever. Florida State versus ULM is the biggest one. And then what are the other ones? I don't even Northwestern. know. Northwestern. Uh, who are they playing? I don't know, but they're not playing. A, uh, a Arizona kind of fits the bill against Northern Arizona. Mm, okay. So but the all, list- then you look like Oregon's playing Nevada. Nevada's not trash. So right. you throw it out. Like it, it's, it's again, it, it all fluctuates i'm upset to find out that the list is list not will come back anymore. next week okay all right let's do the games it's not much of a list if you don't i don't want to go into this but it's not much of a list if you look at it and you decide you just pick games you like that's what you're saying i don't think any of them fit the bill right right so but it's not right. like the you, list is dead that list is dead the list is dead yeah you just look at games and if you like a game you pick it it has nothing to do with the list the list used to be alive well, yeah. it used to be an automatic. If it fit this parameter, you bet it. You're looking just if you like the game. So fuck that list. Yeah, the list is put dead. me in a really bad mood. We got to. So we got to say no back. gimmicks this year. I was just trying to learn the. the Shut thing. up, Rico. <laughs> okay. And what's it? Why? Don't keep blaming me. Uh, all right. Top five games. We need a reset. Do we need to reset? No. Just say you're sorry. I'm sorry. No, dude. he's not. He I am. Keeps That's re joking. You're. Why don't you worry about your picks? I am worried about my picks. <laughs> yeah, you Trust should. Because like guess what? Writing lines from fucking Whitney Houston songs and Tina Turner songs. Worry about the your picks. Right. We're well on the way to a fifty burger. No. I mean, thir- Dave. I'm not a numbers guy. We'll get back. Thirteen units in one week. How we'll many weeks of college we'll football week. are there? Fourteen yeah, we'll weeks or something. That's. A few 50 burgers, actually. Bad week. We'll get back. This show used to be about the picks, not comedy. Top five games. We're on the picks. All right. Let's do the picks. Let's reset. Cincinnati to Ohio State. I'm putting that on my top five games. Cincinnati. Ohio State's minus 16. Over-under is 56. Justin Fields is a monster. That's like a – Ohio State, the fact that they were able to reload with this guy is insane. I love the over in this game. I love the over in this game, and I kind of like Cincinnati, too. Thoughts. What's the over? 56. That's low. It's low. I what's the total? 56. And what's the spread? 16. Ohio State minus 16. Cincinnati going to Ohio State. The battle of Luke Fickle, who was the yeah. guy after Jim Trestle, and then Ryan Day, who's the guy after Urban yeah. Meyer. I, I like Cincinnati to keep this kind of close, but you probably don't get rich betting against Ohio State at Ohio State. They got out to that huge lead. You blinked. It was like 28 nothing, but they did, it didn't go over, right? No, and no, they didn't cover. It, no, it did go over. Over, they didn't cover. They didn't cover. It went over. FAU started scoring a little bit. The way they went out, though, the first half over was a terrible beat. I had over 34 yeah, and a half. Me about yeah, that. four touchdowns in the first five minutes. They were had so many wide open guys. Justin Fields is like, he's actually who Urban Meyer wishes like all these other guys were, like JT Barrett, uh, uh, d- uh, who who else do they have? Fuck Dwayne Haskins. All these guys who can run just as well as they can throw, and now they have it, and it's Ryan Day. I like the over. I, I am just gonna go with Cincinnati. I, I think Ohio State. I, I mean that FAU. I mean 
they're not very good. Obviously, that's what's his face. Um, Lane Kiffin. Yeah, but I think Ohio State's going to struggle this year. I really do. So I'm going to take Cincinnati to keep this thing close. Okay. I've seen Ryan Day take his foot off the gas too many times now. Uh, I would lean Cincinnati, but I love the over. Okay. All right. So the next game, Texas A&M at Clemson. We're going, Dave. Mm-hmm. What is your record actually? Because didn't you have that streak where you would go to games and the home team would always lose in college football show? Correct. I know we're at Michigan. They beat Wisconsin. I, that may That's have broken true. it. So maybe it was the year before. The year before every show we went to, they lost. Yeah. So Clemson, 17 and a half, over under 65. This I, is, this, go, you go. You were going to say the same thing. This is really tough for me because you can put Clemson in the category now if you just don't get rich betting against Clemson, period. Mm-hmm. Having said that, and I played them very close. Granted, it was in College Station last year. Um, now they're talking a little bit too much for my liking, saying they're going to go in and beat them. I think this is also going to be closer than what people think. So I'm going to take. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to be there, going to bet it. I know you should never bet against Clemson. I could see this game being close through three quarters, and somehow Clemson wins by three touchdowns. Right now, as of filming this pick and pod, I am on a And M. The thing that makes me nervous about this game, 17 and a half feels way too big. Like, I think this should be a 10-point line. Yeah, that makes you like Clemson, right? Right, because if it was a 10-point line, I don't agree, though. I, Clemson, Texas A&M would be my pick. But Yeah, but see, I, you so you don't agree then with what I just said because Clemson's getting the Alabama treatment. So 17 and a half, I think, is what people – to me, that's what I kind of expect. Like people it's think a Clemson Clemson's tax. Got, it, yes, yeah. you're getting Clemson tax. Yes. So I don't think that's I don't think that's indic- indicative of like the bookies, the wise uh, wise guys trying to bait you to take a And M. That's the Clemson tax. Like I think most, I think the money will still be on Clemson. I just uh, that seems like that's one of those bets that like I feel like seventeen and a half is just too much. And I'm gonna like you said, we're gonna go and Clemson's. But I don't think it's a trap. Score. There's some that you'll be like that's a trap because it's Clemson. I don't think it's a trap if that makes yeah. any sense. What do you got? I inherited your disease of not being able to figure out Clemson. I bet with them I lose. I bet against them I lose. So I'm done trying to figure that out. I will say you said it was close last year. It was in A and M, obviously. I yeah, he's, no shit. I said right. that. I said it was close in A and M College Station last year. I said that. Yep. Right. They, Thank you for reconfirming. What I think a ton of people <laughs> are remembering though is that game. The fact that it was in A&M, they lose the kid Williams, and they lose a really good um, tight end. I don't think they have the offensive firepower to match Clemson. I also think it helps that Lawrence played like shit last week in a Heisman campaign. Um, I'm always wrong on Clemson. How shit could he have played? They scored 100 points. He didn't play great, if you look at his stat line. Well, you said shit. He, yeah, he played like shit um, compared to what he usually does. Anybody have a stat line? I'm he scored it. like 100 I'm points. It. I'm he didn't it. play well. He played like shit? I think he threw two picks. I'm he, almost positive. Actually, no, Rico's right. He was 13 for 23, 168 yards, two picks. Mm. That's not good. They took him out early. One touchdown. Uh, they did, yeah. But okay. to get Chase going Bryce is their backup. Way. That is an uh, all-time Southern good football name. name. I'm leaning uh, Clemson. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have a few drinks beforehand and just take the over. And that's probably not even going to come close. No we anymore. will be there for all you people at Clemson. Where, do you know where our college oh, show shit. is? Oh, shit. I do. I do. Hold on. Have I know where the college is? Filibuster. Will it, you guys make up while I get Have you ever been to Clemson before? Yes, I have. Okay. Good town? Yes. Where's the real Death Valley? Yeah. It's got to be LSU. Although Clemson may be wrestling that from him now. Especially with that entrance. I don't like that the, entrance. No, I don't like shit. that entrance. You don't like that entrance? Not really. It's, it's not as electric in person. It's too short, the runway. Have you ever been to a Division One like big time? I know you. Like, I went to, to Michigan. Who'd you see play? They played Illinois. I went to a bachelor party. Oh, that's, that's not really a big count. game. Yeah, no. I didn't go to a monster no, game. Right. right. Did you go to a Penn I mean, State? Wasn't there a whole thing last year? With no, he would you? never go to State Penn. Come on, Hank. What is that? Come on, Hank. Uh, we're gonna be live. On my deathbed. From, um, uh, one eighty nine Old Greenville Highway B. What Clemson, time? Clemson, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> what time? That's a brutal. That's a brutal address. Just throw out there. One p.m. Eastern. One p.m. See us there. Amici Clemson. Clemson. I think that's the name of the place. Looking forward to it. One eighty nine Old Greenville Highway B. You want a little stat? Yeah. You you guys are familiar with the blackout tours? A big part of Barcelona's history. You know mm-hmm. where the first blackout tour event was? Clemson, right? Very good, Rico. Yeah, and Rico. it was that guy who very comes, I remember very Hank good. Saying, Rico. The guy comes with the shirt. Very good, Doesn't Rico. Doesn't he show you the shirt or something? He he has some souvenir from. 
The first blackout thing. I remember hearing that. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, it was in a frat that. basement, Clemson. Okay, so where do we all land on this? I'm gonna I'm take on the over. Mississippi State. This is these aren't picks. These I are mean, just A and M. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, A and M. Okay. Uh, next up, I threw this in there because of it might not be a big, big game, but I just love the colors. Nebraska, Colorado. Colorado plus three and a half, over under 64. Something about these two teams playing, if you're over the age of like 27, it means something because it was the old Big 12 or, or uh, Big 8. This is the game we found out Rashawn Salam died. Yeah, but yeah. then we get confused. We're not sure if it is Rashawn Salam. Did he die or was he, it somebody else? Rashawn Salam. I think he's alive. Died. Who did we think died? I don't know. Eric Bieniemy. Yeah, that might have been it. I yeah. Don't know him. Rashawn Salam unfortunately doesn't did ring a bell. did pass away. You don't away. know Eric Bieniemy. You're a little bit older than me. It doesn't ring a bell. Well, off the top of my head, I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know the guy's name. Huh. I know Rashawn Salam. Yeah, he died like three years ago. R.I.P. Uh, do you know the Do you know the snowboarder? No. Jeremy White. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, dude. There's or no, Jeremy Bloom. Jeremy Bloom. Jeremy, Jeremy Bloom. Jeremy Bloom. Yeah. So, so you just say like yes to anybody. Times. He said a totally wrong name. You're <laughs> it's like, true. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, no. He said a totally wrong name. <laughs> You're he, right. He, right. He, he said basically a tomato, the flying tomato. He's yeah. Like Joey I did White. Sean White. Oh, oh yeah. Sean Is that, so you just say yes. We just learned a lot about you. You just say yes when you're intimidated by knowledge. 50-50. Yeah. 50. Yeah. So I mean, he that's said what I knew it was. Bloom and White are two totally different names. Right. And I, but I, I know both of those guys separately. Who's Jeremy White? Sh Jeremy Bloom and Sean White. That's why if I did your game where you make things up, we go on forever because you just sit there like, yeah, yeah, like you would. That's why your game's stupid. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. I, I legitimately thought about Jeremy Bloom. But you know, you just, you just right. fell for it. You did. I, I did say Jeremy totally White, and I fixed it almost instantly, but before I could fix it, you said, yeah. That's a fact. Okay. Apologize. All right, so uh, I thought he was saying. I thought he was going to say Jeremy Bloom. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's the guy. You, you thought no that you would have corrected the me. The only snowboarders I know. Yeah. Well, we're talking about Colorado football. And Jeremy Bloom's so not even a snowboarder. snowboarder I think he's a skier. What does the snowboarder have to do with Nebraska and Colorado? So who's Jeremy Bloom in your mind? Jeremy Bloom is that snowboarder, Molly Bloom's brother, who played at Colorado. You dickhead. Did you know that? <laughs> you know that? Didn't know that. That's the whole Knew reason. They were from Colorado. So you think you're I mean, Jeremy Bloom is a skier? I didn't know yeah, where it was skier. Yeah, no, you, he's an Olympic. If, if, he was an right, Olympic. That, and he was their punt returner. You just thought I made that up. Like, no, well, I was uh, waiting like for the we're time. Talking Colorado, Colorado, we're talking Colorado. We're talking Colorado, Nebraska, and I'm like, oh, the snowboarder kid. Right, but skier. If, I can't see. And the then you're just yesing everybody. Right. If I didn't know he played at Colorado, so then why do you say you? I knew it was a Why would we bring Bloom up out of the blue? I don't know. I didn't know the why He yesing everybody. Played at Colorado. Okay, didn't when know that. When did you start watching college football? <laughs> like 10? Since I knew you? I was like 9, 10. No, I watched for a long time. I, okay. That was a wild That was a wild interchange. So Jeremy Bloom, who played at Colorado. Youngest Colorado, freestyle skier to, in history to be inducted in the United States Skiing Hall of Fame. Wow. Skiing fun fact for you. Did you know he played at Colorado, huh? I did not know. He would. He get a tryout at the Eagles. He played the Eagles for a little bit. Do you know anybody who played at Colorado? Yeah. Name, name name their most famous quarterback. Cordell Stewart. Okay. There we go. Uh who beat somebody in a famous What's game. their nickname? What's their mascot's name? I've, who'd they beat? Michigan. Uh, right. Hail Mary. Yeah. yeah, I was there. No. Yeah. All right. You want a cookie? No. I broke the other cookie. He did actually I broke literally them. bring cookies. Yeah. Uh who is their mascot? The Buffalo. What's yeah. his name? What's his name? I don't know. You don't know that. Oh my I try god! Not, I don't know the mascot. You don't like, know you Ralphie? Don't... No, I didn't. know And that. it's a she, first of all. But you don't know Ralphie? I didn't this know is, the name. I didn't memorize. Ralphie all the names. is one it's of memorized. the most famous. You're getting exposed. That's okay. one of the most famous mascots in college football. Ralphie. They run him out. Or her. You're getting exposed. Didn't this know the name. Is bad. Not hiding it. Didn't know the name. All right. Now well, that yeah, we've... because we told you you couldn't hide it. If we didn't have that conversation, I guarantee you, you would have acted like you knew. All right. It's not even Ralphie. See if we can play this game too. It is Ralphie. You don't know. It's not fun. When you I don't know. If it's Ralphie. And this guy's the one who makes up fake. Like I, you don't know anything. I, we could just feed you any information. You'd eat. All right. It. All right. Who do we like in this game? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. I like Colorado. Actually, I think they win. I do too. I do too. Plus three and a half. Nebraska looked like ass. Week they one. did, and they, that's. I, they're not back. There are press clippings. The whole thing. They're not back. They're not bad. Colorado, I think, wins this game. Yeah, Colorado pasted Colorado State in the second half of that game Colorado last State's week. Colorado pretty bad, though. I know. What's their nickname? Colorado State is the Rams. Good for you. There you go. Rico. 
Okay. Uh, what about Nebraska? Cornhuskers. And do you know what their defense is called? That, like the thing that they always did on, on practices and stuff? He doesn't. He, you I don't. can see an empty look in his face. Wow. No. The I black heard. shirts? Ah, uh, yeah. I've heard that. You they don't know that. that. You I, don't know the, that. Listen, I don't have facts on commands. But when somebody says, oh, what's that? We've done that too. You're like, oh, what's that guy? And I'll say the name. And you say, oh, okay, yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> no, Dave and I right. have no, forgotten no. more college football than yeah, you, you know. Okay. You don't know a lot. Okay. <laughs> Scott Frost was being interviewed last week, and he said that, the black shirts. Mm. So, yeah, I've now connected the dots. The woman was interviewing him. And Frost said, yeah, we played like shit. Okay. Uh, I like Colorado in this game. Rico, do you have a pick in this game of yeah, these two teams you I don't know Nebraska anything about? It out. I know they got a lot of height. I would say Nebraska figures it out. Okay. Uh, the big game of the weekend, LSU at Texas. Texas plus 6.5, over-under is 55. Now, I'm gonna before I say what I'm going to go with, I'm a Coach O guy through and through. I love LSU. Tom Herman as an underdog is insane. What what is this that? 13 2 and 1. Tom Herman as an underdog is insane. I liked LSU when it opened, which was I think two and a half. Mm -hmm. They are getting pounded. It's one of those games where you almost it's like how how smart can one person be? How cute do you want to be? Because I actually liked LSU at two and now I like Texas at six and a half. So I'm basically saying I think LSU is gonna win by a field goal. Whatever. I'm going to take Texas. I'm hoping it goes to seven. That would be a nice yes. little bump up. Um, Football number. Yep. It's at night under the lights. They're going to be flying in Texas. I think they keep it close. I'm going to go with Texas. I feel like, and this might be way wrong, but I feel like Texas hasn't had a home field advantage for like a decade. Well, it's when they're off to a bad start. I, I actually. But even still, like even a bad team, you still. Like, when you go to their place, it still can get hairy. Yeah. I, without knowing the future of who they're playing, I think Texas could win this game, and then they'll lose next week. That's what the, that's the, been the Texas MO. Yeah. So, Tom Herman is an underdog. is insane. Just bet him whenever he's an underdog. Rico, what are your thoughts? I think Coach O's figured it out. I was the biggest guy against Coach O. You guys love him. Is this now your thing? Did they just figure it out? Everybody figured it out. No, Nebraska's I, figuring it out. I think he's LSU's been in figuring these, it out. If you don't know anything about it, you just say they I think figured he's it out. Been in what these, do you mean figured it out? How to shine in a big spot. He was an interim guy. Like now, He's now running the program. He's the guy. So this week he's figured nope, it out. Nobody's going to be able to hear a thing. My best play of the of, of, is the under. 55. I know it's not a great number. I don't think anybody's going to be able to hear anything. I see a lot of field goals instead of touchdowns. I say the under. I don't like how high it's got. I agree with you. I lean LSU. Okay. Um, and then last, I threw on there Cal at Washington. Washington's minus 14. I was thinking USC Stanford, but without JT Daniels out, and I don't know if... Uh, Costello's got a concussion. Yeah, I would Costello, say under in that game, too. Right. So Cal at Washington. I don't know. I'll watch that game just because I love... There's something about the Washington Stadium. I just love watching games there. Great game. Great, great. That overhang on one side. It's like an old school stadium. And uh, then, yeah, and we, we drove. I was in Seattle, and we literally, I just drove by it just to look at it. It does just look. Stood, it, it, stood there and, and when they're it. going, the, sh- the stadium shakes. Shakes. Literally shakes. 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 And you can tail, it's sailgate. Do you know what that is? Sailgate? Tailgate? Sailgate. Sailgate. Yeah. It sounds like tailgating on the water. Yes. Okay. They can drive boats right up to the, to the stadium. This game, I have no clue. The the quarterback's finally gone from Washington, right? No, they have Jacob Eason, the the Georgia transfer. From Georgia, right? But the kid who was there the last yes, seven Brown, years. he's gone. Brown, yeah, Brown, Brown, he's gone. But Jacob Eason's better. Yeah, I uh, I like the coach, I like the team, I like the colors. Big color game. Oh, the purple, those gold the pants, purple and silver. But I don't know nothing about Cal. I this this game stinks to me. Um. I feel like it's something that I'm going to put a lot of money on. Yep. Washington late, and you're going to know six minutes in, like Cal's going nowhere. They can't get a yard. Nobody. No, no, I think I'm going to be wrong. I think nobody's. I just think Cal's going to be like, uh-oh, Cal's not getting blown out here when you think they should. Got it. So it's a reverse. I think this is so easy on Washington, I'm taking Cal. Cal. This seems like this should be like 30. To right, and Cal's also that classic team. I feel like they stink every year. But every year they keep it close or beat a team they shouldn't. They stick to you like a Klingon, right? Like Star Wars, like they just stick. They may not win. This, this line, you want to talk about stinker lines? This one to me, they are begging you to take Washington. Yes, I agree. And I, Cal's one of those teams, my classic team. I can never get right, no matter what Agreed. I bet. Agreed. And never Clemson, get right. Yeah, that's Clemson. What well, I get Clemson. Do you right know now. anybody who played at Cal? 
Jared Goff. Ooh, Ooh there you go. The program. What there about you, any I, running backs? Javid Best. Yeah, that's okay, good, that's I was bad. we were looking for Marshawn Lynch, but yeah, we'll take receivers? that. Receivers. There's a huge one that I'm blanking on. Mm, this sucks. Yeah, he is pretty big. He's real big. Fuck this idiot. Who is it? All right, I'll look it up. Okay. Think about think I'm about who on. plays. He's played on the Eagles and the Bucks. Deshaun Jackson. There, there you go. go. Got it. Know nice. Go. You don't know the the famous Deshaun Jackson going into the end zone and dropping the ball. No. He dropped the ball before he got to the end zone with with Cal. How long ago? Or was that the All Star game? No, that was that, that was, was against, that was a Cal. I thought he did that against did the Cowboys. He did. He's done it like five times. I didn't know about the right? Cal one. He did it against the Cowboys. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't know, know about the Cal that one. I he knew didn't he didn't. Yeah. He might have done it. You know what? He might have done it in the uh, in like one of those like East West Shrine games. Okay. Um. Yeah, he's done it many. I'll times. take the bait. I don't think Cal scores at all. Uh, hardly. I think Washington's way better than these guys. Yeah, it was an I know it's a trap. I'll put exactly, my hand. Yeah. I'll put my hand in the trap. Yeah, good. And you get your hand bit off. That's why I like it. You just reinforced my pick. Thank you, Rico Bosco. Okay, let's do our cards and our locks. This segment is brought to you by PointsBet. For all of our listeners who haven't signed up yet, they're giving you $100 if you sign up right now with the code BARSTOOL to get started and you deposit $50. They'll give you $100 in bonus bets with no turnover requirement. Uh, you And then they also have this personal pay dirt promo. You place a money line bet on four college football games that we select here at Barstool. For every touchdown your team scores, you get six dollars in bonus. Remember, sign up with the code Barstool. Deposit fifty dollars to get a hundred in bonus bets. Code Barstool. And if you're not in New Jersey, you can play points bets. Pick six game online where they're giving away up to twenty five thousand dollars a week. All you have to do is pick six football teams you think will win that week. You can go to points bet pick six dot com with the number six to play. Terms and conditions apply. Void where prohibited. Must be 21 or older. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. That's a good number to give out. You give it out all the time when we have bad weekends. Yes. Yeah. First step to recovery. Should we give it to you right now? Should we give it to you right now? Yeah. No, no. I'm not a gambling addict. Okay. You're down 13 units. I'm definitely not doing well, but I'm not addicted to... Losing? It seems like your track record, you're addicted to losing. After a week, yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. Thank God I didn't take your picks. Oh, oh. could you imagine? I'd be so mad at him. Could More you? Mad at Let it. me and see it, your picks. Imagine if, if I took his picks and he came in with that uh, junior high bullshit he had today. Army minus 20 and a half, and they won by seven. Oh, Army was tied at the first half. This Mississippi Memphis wasn't. I mean, I close. had that, but that was gross. Houston, he just took because of me. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, he took the FAU OSU because of me. Yeah. That was a total copycat. You, you Clay Travis, my pick. Yep, that's a fact. All right, Rico, you gonna you gonna get on the right side this week? I'm praying to God I am. Yeah. All right, let's go with your picks first. With mine picks first. Okay. okay. Rico, you have have you been doing any like phone calling to like schools or flight plans or anything? Not yet. I, no. do, you, do you think that's why you're doing so bad? No, it's, just, it's you play it off of the situation. Most of the time, it's Hawaii. Looking into ticket sales, none of that. He doesn't have time. He's writing his he's writing his bits for this show. You did DM the Hawaii uh, football he's a, program. He's a buffet of bits. Yeah, so that's the, your uh, new, you're my yeah, buffet yeah. of bits guy now. Buffet of bits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if you can get on the right side. How many picks do you have? A uh, very limited card. One, yeah, I two, figured. Three, You're, you know what you are? Six. You're gun shy. When I lose, I double my card. All right. <laughs> That's the only way to get out to of it. To each his own. I like Kansas State, minus 23. I like that as well. The old offense of snap, shuffle, shuffle, run into a lineman's ass. Bill Snyder is gone, and I love Bill Snyder. He hit my 2011 game of the Rest year against in peace. Kansas. No, he's still alive. No. You didn't hear? He passed away last week. Dude. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I don't think he's dead. I would have heard about that. Kansas State minus 23. I like that t- quarterback Thompson. Kansas State first half is 13 and a half. That's under a football number. I like that as well. Bowling Green's really bad. I like UCF minus 10. I know FAU, that was a newspaper score. Everybody thinks this is the one time I will back uh, Brandon Wimbush. Um, I don't think they're going to win that conference, but I think they've been there before. Wimbush is big. Wimbush is good. FAU has uh, quarterback questions. I like UCF minus 10. I also think I like Western Michigan plus 16, and I would roll the dice. Very At s- Michigan State? And I would roll the Ugh. dice. I would, 
Mich- Western Michigan can score. Michigan, Michigan State, State has the best defense in college football. They struggle to score. I think okay. it's going to stay closer than All it right. is. I would advise if you're looking for a super money line off the off the radar, I would say Western Michigan money line is five to one. Um, did you see Tulsa? Did you see Tulsa's numbers against against uh, Michigan State? Yeah, they suck. Tulsa also sucks. No, you. So you didn't see Tulsa's numbers against Michigan. State. I don't State. need to. They, if you if you if out. you it's, answered it's, that question the way you did, it's not worth looking at. They stink. Tulsa you, stink. It's not something I'm looking into. Did not see Tulsa's numbers against. Michigan I think Western Michigan is a huge step up on offense for them. Tulsa's numbers against Michigan State. Give me a guess what their rushing number was. Forty yards. Minus seventy three. They suck. It doesn't. It doesn't really change my point. You're now playing. That even helps my point. Now they're playing a good well, offense. Do you know how hard it is to be minus seventy three rushing? It's hard. It certainly doesn't help your point. Michigan State could be overlooking your, your, them. Your, your point didn't like get stronger. That that just made. No Shamari sense. Books had six carries for zero yards. That's a tough day. That is a tough day. Corey Taylor uh, the second had seven carries for minus one yard. That's a tough day. His longest rush, two yards. So when you say this, is is that a pick? Did you just give two picks on that game? Did you give uh, Western Michigan and the money line two yeah, separate I'll give picks? Both of those. Yeah. Okay. So how much on the money line? Half unit, quarter unit, tenth of a unit, half, half unit. Yeah. Okay. You're okay. on the you're on the record then for half a unit. Okay. Put it on the record. Yeah. That, yeah. You always have the cards. Yeah, I know. Well, you didn't say. I mean, okay. Okay. Uh, I like Baylor a lot. Minus twenty six and a half. And the lock- who, are they, who are they playing? Yeah, they're playing UTSA. Okay, the the um, UTSA kept it close last year. They had to go to UTSA. Charlie Brewer is a standout at quarterback. Um, Matt Rule's really good at coach. I think Baylor. This is another huge step up for UTSA. I like Baylor to hang it on him. Um, and my lock of the week, presented by point, uh, Points Bet, is Baylor UTSA over fifty six and a half. Mm. That's just a principle. You say Baylor, and you have a number under sixty. But is that it back? Take, is that back? Because they did have a couple years there where that wasn't the he case. He had that really bad season in two years ago. They yeah. were like 1-11. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. You w- Real quick. UTSA ran 81 offensive snaps last week. They're looking to run it up as well. I love this. The fact that it's under 60, I love this over. Okay, so I have a question. State Penn. Right. State Ohio. But Baylor's Okay. There's no way to change it. They did bad things. You're right. What does that mean? There's no way to change what happened. Like, I what mean, am I saying? there's what like am I supposed to call ba- it's a what am I crazy to call sliding. S- because you don't have a nickname. Don't then, call them anything. You don't care about the it. The B team in Texas. Wait a minute. What, what, what do you mean? What are you supposed to call them? Because you can't it, come up. You can reverse so it pretty you, easily. So State you, Penn State so Ohio. You own, okay. Okay. That's if all, game day all, went what, to Baylor, like it just fits. If you never bet on like State Penn, never. Right. But you will bet on Baylor because you can't come up with a bad nickname for them. Right. So essentially, if that you seems... are out there, if you're in a, a college football program, you're listening to this show, and you want to do terrible years. human rights violations and and hide heinous crimes, just make sure that your name can't get a bad nickname for Rico, and you'll be fine. Rico. Yeah. Right. Okay. If Baylor's if, pretty bad, if right. game they day goes thing. to Baylor, if, do you complain? They also had the murder with the, the basketball player. Yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah. you can't, you but can't come co- up. Did they but cover it up? Yes. Like 30, yeah, what yeah. are you talking 30 about? Right. You just, 30 years, you just can't come up with a nickname. I don't oh have a nickname. Right. God. So then I don't stand games. by them morally. Right. But, they but you'll, you'll, you'll bet with them. You'll fuck with them. You won't fuck with P- Penn State because you can't come up with a nickname for Baylor. If you come up with a nickname that works. They're in trouble. Then they're done. Yeah. They're done. But you okay. also you covered it up for 30 years. Right. State well, Penn did it for 30 right. years. But you do State Ohio, too. When, when, when is the years, like how many years can you cover it up for where it's not that bad? Are we counting years or amount of rapes they covered yeah, up? Yeah, I, I think the crimes suck no matter yeah. what. Yeah. Horrible. Right. You okay. know I stand by women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you bet Baylor, so yeah. we don't know. <laughs> Something, well, you can't Something should be bigger if than sports. Have, they should put be. some work into a nickname, maybe. All right. All right. Next week, I want a nickname for Baylor. And then they can be done. All right. Yeah. Bear. bear. <laughs> You'll think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> Dave, go ahead with your cover. Especially if they don't cover, then I'm fucking bad about it. Yeah. 14 games here. Oof. Uh, I believe this will be out before. Boise State at home, minus 12, blue turf. Uh, I will take You the- like that? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Coming off that huge win, I think. I know coming off good. that huge the quarterback win scares me. Very good, and the quarterback from Marshall throws a ton of picks. I know uh, they're high on him. I like that pick. Did you know his brother's names? Whose brothers? The quarterback for for no, I already forgot. Boise. I already Hank f- Brockmeyer. His brothers' names are Buck, Tiger, and Bear. 
Those are great names. Yes, unbelievable. So I like Boise minus a 12, and that may be, you know what? I, I have no problem riding teams. They did a lot for me. They really bailed me out last week um, winning that game outright. I like Arizona State minus 36 at home against Sac State. They didn't cover Arizona State last week. I think they're going to benefit Sac State. I'm assuming stinks, even though I know nothing about them. Um, I like Virginia Tech at home, minus 28 against ODU. ODU stinks. I think BC was undervalued. So I think that's BC is going to end up being a pretty fucking good team. So Virginia Tech, that loss won't look that bad. I like Iowa at home, minus 20 against Rutgers. Rutgers stinks. They do that wave. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that, Rico, that wave to the For children. the kids. Yeah. For the kids. One yep. of the nicest things they do in college football. Nice. you say? Yeah, Syracuse I think goes into Maryland, beats them. Uh, Maryland's minus two there. Oh, uh, I would lean Turtles that way. Well, you were what two and eight last oh, week, yeah, so I'm not definitely. too concerned what you, you should think. like that pick. Then. Right, You're right, exactly. Uh, Georgia Tech minus six at home against USF. I it shouldn't affect me, but I like the fact that the Georgia Tech coach hugged everybody after they lost by a hundred at home, walking off the field. It was like high fiving people at Clemson. And uh, my notes tell me that USF is not as good as Clemson. Um, I'm going to take uh, Colorado, we said, plus three and a half at home against Nebraska. They beat them. Took A&M plus a 17 and a half because I'm at that game. I like the over in UCF FAU, 68. I like Michigan State, minus 17 against uh, Western Michigan. I never felt better about it when Rico <laughs> double-picked that one. That was music <laughs> to my ears. All right. uh, I like Kentucky at home, minus 14 and a half against e, uh, EMU. I gave out Kentucky last week. I'm on Kentucky all last year. Kentucky is a cash machine for me. Um, they pulled away late last week. East of Michigan on back to back road game as well. Uh, I like Texas plus a six and a half at this point. It's just too much. I also like the over in that game, 55. I think Rico liked the under. It makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, I like Arkansas on the road to keep it close against Ole Miss. Ole Miss stinks. That's Ooh, six and a half. Did you see Arkansas, though, last week? They struggled with Portland State. Those te- two teams stink. That's. I mean, I'm, I don't want to. It's too late. I yeah. Put in those two teams stink. I think UNC beats Miami at home plus four. Oh, and that's my lock of the week. The other way. Okay, my two locks points bet: Virginia Tech minus twenty eight, Kentucky minus fourteen and a half. Okay. You know, ODU beat Virginia Tech outright last year, right? Uh, I did not. That's called revenge. I did that's not. actually more into Dave's point. Yeah. Okay. I'm just throwing it out. ODU there. struggled one by three points versus a team I never heard of. I forget who it was. All right, uh, we disagree on a few of these, Dave. That's too bad. Uh, I have Illinois minus 20 against UConn. UConn's 0-11-2 last three years against the spread What's out of the conference. What's the total there? I like that over, actually. Uh, 59 and a half. I I'm like going well. UConn, Illinois. Add it to the sheet, it. please. I like Eastern Michigan plus 14 and a half. I know you have Kentucky. If you watch, Did you watch that game? Kentucky Toledo's game? quarterback getting hurt. If Toledo quarterback doesn't get hurt, they they, they hang in that game and might, might even win it. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know he got hurt. Yeah. He I got guess. hurt in the middle of the game, so Too that bad was for him. yeah. Uh, Dave, Dude, I like. Wish he gets better. What's he dead? Now that you're not betting on, no, but just I wish he gets better. That would be disingenuous. I know nothing about him. All right. Uh, I like Army Hold plus on. twenty. All black, literally black. I, I, what, I, I'm not like you that just say things just to hear my voice and like don't mean. I don't know. I don't know who the Toledo. Why would I wish somebody I have no idea who he is gets better? I don't. Why know. would you wish somebody you don't know? Stays hurt. I didn't so wish he soul. stayed hurt. I'm not going to be neutral. I have no idea oh, who this right. human is. All right. If you had to pick, do you hope he gets better or worse? <laughs> the guy I don't know? <laughs> yes. I hope the guy I don't know gets better. Good. But okay, I'm not going to waste a second thought. If he doesn't, I don't care. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I like Army plus 22 and a half against Michigan. I think, I think Army sucked week one. They got a little bit of the press clippings. I No one wants to play the, the – uh, the triple option. You'll know that one series in. When one series in. Lost. I think Michigan has a little bit of a problem on their defensive line. Not like you know, they'll be able to hang. Obviously, they'll be able to beat Army, but I just think that number is going to be a little bit closer. Uh, I like Vandy plus seven at Purdue. Purdue, all the world, like everyone was Purdue, Big Ten West, Dark Horse. They lose in Nevada. That's a demoralizing loss. Get boots a 56 yard field goal, freshman. Did, did you watch the Vandy Georgia game? Vandy actually, hung, like, the score was... Did not get blown out. Yeah, Georgia covered the 24-point spread or whatever it was, but Vandy played very tough Held throughout the entire field game. field goals in the second half. Yeah, they that played them the real double, tough. That line that you put up when he kicked the field goal also affected the second They half. couldn't move the ball, but they played really good on defense against Georgia. Um, I have San Diego State plus 7.5 at UCLA. 
I watched that UCLA that the end of the UCLA Cincinnati game. I don't think that quarterback. That's not Chip Kelly's guy yet. I don't think he's good enough. Uh, and I think San Diego State's just a fundamental team. Shout out Clay Travis. Texas plus six and a half. Uh, I like Ohio plus six at Pitt. I have a large card. I like Michigan State under forty six and a half in that game. They're they have the best defense in college football. Uh, Tulane plus eighteen at Auburn. Thoughts. That's an all-time win. They they already here's here's why I bet this is the only reason I bet this game. Couldn't name you one guy on Tulane. Auburn had pictures of the Auburn Oregon game up in the facility framed the next day. I, I don't hate the pick, but it is a pick you're gonna want to kill yourself if Auburn it's right. like why are you taking a road? If they Tulane just big boy them, yeah. In the SEC. I think that game's at night. That yeah. makes me look it's their home opener. I will say, side note. I would put Tulane as one of the most depressing places to watch a college football game on TV. They're always terrible yes. announcers. It's dark in that. I think the, the, the Superdome is like basically, I think, not there anymore, yet they still play in it. Yeah. Great yeah. uniforms, though. They got good helmets. They do. Green wave. It looks like a USFL team. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm taking them plus 18. I'm taking the other side of that game. I'm taking Oregon minus 24. Nevada off a huge win, going crazy. No one thought they were going to win that game. They're 11 point underdogs. The kicker kicks that, gets his scholarship. Then they got to go to Oregon. Oregon's going to be pissed. They shouldn't have lost that game. They're going to put it on. I like that. It's just the only X factor is whether they're Oregon is deflated. But. Yeah. Stanford at USC. Stanford plus one. This I think a, I got to take USC. This is a game, though, traditionally. It's been off a couple times, but this is something that I've built houses on that Stanford bully balls USC. All right, I'm taking Stanford them. plus one. I would take the under in that. Okay. Uh, you can if you want. Or you can put that on your card if you want. Yeah, do it. Do it. Be a no, man and do it. Then don't give do an it. opinion because you don't have one. Just do don't it. Put say it on your I card. I take the under when you're not. You can. I said I would take the under. Right, so take it. Put it on no. for half a unit. What, do you, what does that mean? I would take the under. Like. Everybody asks our opinion all the time. Like, what no, do you no, think no. Of this but game? this is this no. Game? This is our We're own our cards. cards. Right, These are right. games that we have to talk that's, about. So for you to pipe up, I take the under. Then put it on your card. That's or my shut opinion. Up. It's just the under. I'm not. Then put it, it on your card. I don't love it. Put it on right, your card. And it's not an opinion. And keep quiet. All right. Put it on your card. No. I mean, you can't. He. I. I. I like the under in that game. Put it on your but card. But you don't. If you're asking me to pick, nobody asked you. That's my point. You just chirped up. Right. You're right. All right. I apologize. Uh, Oregon, Hawaii, Oregon State, Hawaii. Excuse me, over seventy eight and a half. That's going to be a great late night, late night, beautiful game. Get you ready for Sunday. Wake versus Rice over fifty five and a half. Wake Forest, they ran like a million plays against Utah State, and they beat Utah State. They did beat pretty Utah good. State. My lock of the week, Miami minus. I think it's minus five now. What did you have it at? I have it four and a half, but okay, could we'll be just wrong. call it five. Miami minus five at UNC. Well, I have it at. Fine, I'll take five. Yeah, you, I'm giving you five. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Um, Let me ask your opinion on this one because you're the Wisconsin guy. Uh, I wrote it down. I didn't pick that it. That was beautiful, Wisconsin. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Kicked the shit out of them. Back was, to, boy, I think they're back they to doing what they do. They didn't run a play from, from the uh, past the 50 until the last possession. Tried to kick a field goal. Now, We're, like, I know I took Wisconsin. It's not on my Yeah, team. you did. Whiskey, Central Michigan. Can I, do my, can I do my lock of the week? I didn't know. You, I think you not. I was in the middle of my lock of the week. What were you gonna say? Whiskey, Central Michigan under fifty one and a half. What's your opinion on that? One? I don't. I won't bet. I'm not gonna bet. I mean, Wisconsin when they're what they were on Friday night, they run the ball for fifty five points. Right. And you always have to worry about Wisconsin. Like they're not gonna throw the ball. So if they are up by a lot, they will run for touchdowns. They'll break a couple. They will break your back. That seems like it's right on the number. Miami, minus five against UNC. UNC, I have a little rule. If a team, if a coach cries after a win and says, quote, these are going to be the happiest kids in the entire country tonight, UNC is not bouncing back from that game. They partied. They had a great time. That was a that was a defining victory for them week one. Miami has a bye. I actually liked Miami's quarterback, even though he wasn't that great against Florida. I thought he hung in there against good defense. I think Miami comes. Danny Boy Kane also said that they're going to wax him, so I'm taking Miami minus five. I didn't know he said that. My points bet lock of the week. The, uh, the anything else, Rico? Any other final words? No. What, grade your performance winners. today. Uh, today? Yeah. B minus? Mm. 
You jumping ship on me? <laughs> I'm just. I mean, as the biggest, I'm read it, Rico. So, I was, I'm gonna. I'm riding Rico every single pick this week, just because I need you to win, so I can you can bring some energy back in this place. Right. Well, I got shut down early with your gimmicks. But yeah. you know, so, you know, you some players, it's notes. like a couple of times. <laughs> you need to have, you need to, you need to keep know. that Bill Belichick like next next week, move yeah. on. You there know? is some weeks if you, have a, if, you have, if, you, if you have a good week, you come in here firing yeah. on all cylinders. If you have a bad week, you, you come right. in timid like today. And I'm gonna tell you this, and we all know it. I don't know. I, I'm a little lost actually, Rico. How much football you actually watch based on some of the uh, statements today? But when you run a gimmick offense or gimmick plays, the run and shoot with a whatever it may be, and it doesn't work like that little song and dance you did at the beginning, you're dead, and that's what happened to you. I shut that down quickly, and you became a mouse. All right, Hank, you got a lock of the week. Did your lock win last week? Yeah, you took Houston, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we might have a more to lock off, Big Cat. Oh, I like. I don't. I was deciding between Carolina. I th- I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with Michigan though. Okay, so we have more to lock off, no matter what. Because I have Army as well. Yeah. Oh, but I don't have a mortal lock. Okay, so you have Michigan minus 22.5 as your mortal lock. Points bet mortal lock. Uh, let's end it on a good note. Marty, have a pick? Marty, Marty's in the room. Do you have a pick, Marty? Iowa, Iowa minus 20 is like Marty's that. pick, mortal lock. All right, let's end it on a good note, as Pat Hill says. Any place, anywhere, anytime. Wrong. <laughs> Shout out to Trent. I didn't try to fuck it up. Anywhere, Remember any that, place, Dave? anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Well, I'm legitimately trying to do it. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You fucking dick. Dave, you remember that? When you hired Trent and you just like held up a picture of Pat Hill? Yeah. What? You hired Trent and you did a press conference and to announce it. You're like, all right, press conference. And you just held up a picture of Pat Hill. And then you're like, anytime, any place, anywhere. Like, I find a guy from Iowa. Oh, we now I don't remember Iowa doing website. that. Anytime, I don't, yeah, website. I don't even remember. We've done so much shit here. Yeah. But I like that. So, Rico, you I got it? Yeah, anytime, any place, anywhere. Anywhere, anytime, any place. I had it right? No. no. <laughs> All right. All right. Leave the gimmicks at home next week. <laughs> we'll see you week see three. You week Good three. luck. Best of luck, guys. Best of luck. No one's rooting for you more than I'm rooting for you as hard as Dave is rooting for the Toledo quarterback to get better. Okay. Thanks. I just you don't wish <laughs> people you don't know. It's disingenuous. And please come come with some. I'm not making like you shouldn't be at his hospital bed, but I'm just saying. I, listen, I want world peace. Everybody does. Right. You, n- you need to show up next week with the Baylor nickname or else you're off the show. Okay. All right? All right. Okay. See you next week.